Hello and welcome to college football season, everyone. I am your host, ND Tex. Or, I'm your host, Ryan Ritter. You can call me ND Tex. I'm so excited. I can't even keep the info, info, intro straight anymore. How drunk are you already? Not, not nearly enough. However, all that being said, uh, welcome to the HLS Podcast. You can always join us on Discord. That is our live chat channel, herlittlesons.com slash Discord. You can also join us live on twitch.tv slash herloyalsons, and we are also on herloyalsons.com, and no Milfi, who is live with us in the chat right now, we are not waiting for the end of UCLA Cincy, we are already running behind, the sim waits for yeah. nobody, <laughs> but here we That's are, right. Shane, week one, we made it, we're here. <sighs> yeah, man, it, fe- it, it feels even more real, because right now, there are games aplenty rolling in the background. And uh, it kind of feels like, you know, like this is the perfect storm. This is the perfect time to kick this thing back off. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, And hey, Sam Rose, uh, thanks for joining us in the chat as well. Holy shit, Sam's here. Yes, it's going to be a party. Yes, it's great. I'm actually, I'm testing the limits of my machine right now by keeping a couple games up that I may have a a vested interest in, shall you say. And I also made a very smart decision to wear a shirt that had green on it because now I'm transparent. (laughs) That's part of, that's part of the charm. Yeah. Well, it works. So you, you can see right through me. I I apparently have no heart despite wearing an extra life shirt, but we are going to talk much week one. Uh, not too much because I know everybody is itching for that SIM. I'm itching to get back into it, but Man, we got to start off a little bit. We're going to go a little bit off topic. It's this is almost something we do at the end, but we're going to shift it to the beginning because Shane, you were in Chicago and just tearing it up, man. Yeah, man. Um, it was my first time in Chicago. I, I went uh, from Monday to today. I got back like four or five hours ago. Um, I had never been. And, you know, I figured what way to enter the incredibly obvious marker year of 32 years of age, because that's a thing. Um, <laughs> Then by going somewhere I've never been and just kind of going hammer, um, that's exactly what the plan was, and that is exactly what I did. I mean, you you were doing steak. So did you visit ND Nation Steakhouses? (laughs) (laughs) If I could have found them, I might have, just because. Um, No, man, I I, kind of just did it up. So the the day I got there was Monday. Um, You know, obviously the travel was a little bit tiring. Um, So the first thing I did was just kind of like I went and sought out – just a pizza place that's one of my dad's favorites. I know it's not the pizza place, but my dad really loves Giordano's. So I was like, let me just go take a picture of myself there for him. That's a staple. That's still a Chicago staple. Yeah. I get it, but it's still a staple in Chicago. Right. I mean, it was like two blocks from where the hotel was. I mean, it felt like an, a no brainer. Um, so I went out there, um, ended up staying there for a little longer, drinking my face off um, <laughs> to offset the cheese coma. That was a bad decision <laughs> because then I got back to the hotel and woke up three hours later. Like, where the fuck am I? Um, so that was interesting. Uh, then after that, uh, I just kind of went down, walked in any random direction because I don't I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of like, let me walk around with my phone up and like constantly checking my my street markers. To make sure <laughs> I am where I am. No, I'm not doing that shit. So I just kind of walked in a direction. I ended up um, at a bar. I, I don't even remember the name. Um, but I just kind of just sat there and wanted to talk to people. I wanted to meet Chicagoans. I wanted to know what it was, you know, what, what people thought of the fact that I'm a Floridian and I don't seem insane yet. Um, so I, I just kind of like took advantage of that, had a lot of fun with that. And then, I mean, Tuesday and Wednesday, I went in. Um, <laughs> I packed in a bunch of shit. I mean, the Art Institute Museum, the Shed Aquarium. I dipped into the um, the planetarium for a little bit. Then... Uh, I went to uh, Morton Steakhouse to treat Ooh, myself. Very you know, nice. I do it up nice. Uh, and I capped that off on Tuesday with a show at literally one of my bucket places, bucket list places to go, Second City, Chicago. I have all I've long revered so many of the comedians that, that started their careers in that venue uh, have come on to go to SNL. So, you know, people like Bill Murray, John Candy, I mean, m- many, many more. But... I really, really desperately wanted to go there. I ended up buying a shirt because I fanboyed a lot, <laughs> understandably. Uh, and then, you know, drank a lot there as well. Um, I got to hang out with the cast a little bit afterwards because they were all super nice. Um, it, it, I mean, it was basically just like a dream trip. Wait, you know, was I, there I, still somebody named John Sabine there in Second City by chance? Oh, no, no. It, it's a, it, it, was, it was a not recently <laughs> rotated cast, but I mean, there, was a, there were two, three guys that had replaced staples gotcha okay uh like a couple weeks prior and then it was kind of a new show so 
that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then yesterday was kind of my, my coup de grace, if you will. I started off with the terrifying experience of heights. <laughs> hard in, nope. All this hard nope. He, he, his Twitter feed was freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I started with Willis Tower, which formerly Sears Tower, because it was very close to my hotel, maybe a block and a half away um, west. Uh, so I just went there and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to jump in one of those boxes, you know, one of the sky decks and see what it's like to stand in a clear, transparent platform. And boy, let me tell you, I thought my idea was, I'm just going to walk out there, look at all these ridiculous people, like shaking their knees and crouching and crawling into the box. What's wrong with them? I'm just going to walk. And then my body, no. So I walked, I went to take a step and I genuinely like had an involuntary freeze. You know, like I had to tell my body, come on. Come on. And, no, and we, still, to, we still got to do this. <laughs> and then eventually a step finally was delivered by my brain who was constantly rejecting every idea I had. Um, and rightfully so, because I got in there and immediately looked down and said, ah, we're not supposed to do this. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this is not for humans, clearly. Um, but it was a still it was still a fun experience, obviously. One of those things you have to do. And then I decided, why not ride the adrenaline wave and then go over to the uh, John Hancock building and try the tilt? <laughs> God almighty, dude. Jesus. I will tell you, I was in that room by myself when I did it, but three women went in after me, and all I could hear is, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> they were not having a good time. It felt that far. 45 degrees, I think, is the angle, but I was. Oh, man. No, no. <laughs> I was still like, my. when the guy took my picture, there's one picture of me standing, and there's another picture of me in the lean. I look all happy in the lean, but I'm all of my muscles were like max tensed. Like, to the ultimate extreme, I could not handle that. Even though I, I thought it was fun, something in me said, stop doing this. Um, and then, uh, after those things were done, I decided, well, you know what, let me just go off and maybe grab a burrito. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of a place called Dos Toros, but I'll tell you something. We, we sound Dan Rubensee now, finding Mexican food in Chicago. <laughs> oh, God. Well, look, I just like a burrito anywhere. Dos Toros is like, the way I would describe it is like the inverted Chipotle. You know how Chipotle's burritos are all really short and fat. Yeah. You know? and the, Los Toros the... is, gives you like a giant taquito. Oh, basically. okay. Nice. And it was awesome. I have to say that was fucking delicious. Um, really had a great experience there. Uh, so then after that, I decided, you know what? There's a Broadway show here. Oh, look at that. It happens to be fucking Hamilton. Oh, you gotta be. Now I'm in more jealous than I was before. I still have yeah. yet. And it's, it's run through Dallas. I did not get a chance to go see it. My friend, when I tell you that there's nothing that can, explain how good it is in person by comparison to like the actual audio there's just nothing not to mention if you're jealous now i have in my suitcase two booze sippy cups that they gave me at this place you motherfucker (laughs) god (laughs) (laughs) they gave me short glasses just like this one but with sippy cup lids and it was the greatest experience ever um and i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm rushing through the story but right after that i uh went back to the hotel got changed and went back uh, about on the road to cap off my trip with the ultimate experience, which was an, a helicopter tour of Chicago. Good God, man. Yeah, man. It was everything I could have wanted to do. Everything went perfectly. Everyone was nice. Everything was awesome. I, it was pretty much the greatest single trip I've taken on my own in a long, long, long time. Dude, that's, I mean, I've been to Chicago several different times, especially to visit some Notre Dame people there. You know, I, I've, I've had loads of fun every single time I was there, but you, sir, you were balling out, and that's why we made sure we had to stop down about this because, <laughs> folks, this is ha- this is a way, the ultimate way. You know, he's got birthday weekend, so he's also cheating. But this is the ultimate yeah. way to lead into a college football week because as soon as you land back at home, granted you have to worry about some hurricane stuff, but apparently, <laughs> past Shane decided to prep some stuff already. <laughs> yeah, past Shane was a fucking badass and he decided right before the trip to do a full grocery shop, mostly non-perishables for some reason. Uh, full stocking of two cases of water. Also, I ordered some on Amazon the week before. I, I don't know what was on me about getting water, but I really needed to get water. And then on top of that, I get in my car and who's got a full gas tank? This guy. It was awesome. Damn. Awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Dude, that's that's great. You came back and you have college football on, and we're we're gonna get to. We have a new segment we're gonna debut, so we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. But man, I, I tell you what, it's been great to see Week One football back on. Um, uh, you know, I, I I got my 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 degenerate on. I, I got five tickets I'm watching right now. <laughs> Same. <laughs> 
have so many bets going right now. It's, I mean, I'm loving it. And it was hilarious because this is how I know I've been raising my kids right. I come home, little Tex is like, Dad, when's football coming on today? I'm like, he knows about Thursday college kickoff. Yeah. I have done amazing. I've done so great. He knows that it's happening. He wanted to run around, play football, get in a little bit of trouble. Uh, you know, the, the Holy War is about to kick off on ESPN. There's still a handful of games, a lot of them blowouts, but uh, yep. when you got that little side action, it makes it a little bit more interesting. I, I'm currently the, my biggest one right now is sweating an under plus a 36 and a half point spread with Clemson. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, they, they just need a touchdown and they're covering. They, they got it. They got this. I, I, I'm supremely confident. Just, look, man, Georgia Tech is, install, is installing a new offense. I was just like, oh, boy. Yeah, that's why I went on it. I'm like, yeah, there's no way you – because I've seen the opposite. I've seen Notre Dame try to transition from a pro-style offense to some kind of option. This is the complete opposite, so I know this is going to be a little rough, especially when you're facing Clemson, of all people. Yeah, apparently. Uh, but, you know, should we go ahead and get to it, Shane? Should we go ahead and yeah, debut the thing? Yeah, I think so. All right. We're, we're going to debut a thing here. Just give me one second. That is right, folks. We are on the Night's Watch. Yeah. yeah. And First we, and foremost, guys, can we all, I mean, none of you can, but can we give it up? Ryan, listen, hey, I, I know you all can't hear and see this on the audio, but <laughs> dude, we just had a Game of Thrones opening <laughs> sequence transition from Notre Dame Stadium straight to Orlando. UCF's campus. This is amazing. This is this why I, I will I will individually highlight this so y'all can see what we're talking about. Uh, for those of you that don't do the Twitch stream, it'll be on the post. But yeah, uh, that's why I was up a little late last night trying to make sure I hit the timing right. And even the video didn't start in time, but it's still good enough. It'll work. But yes, <laughs> the reason we wanted to do this, of course, Shane, UCF, he loves UCF. And yep. we have Brandon Wimbush. And we had like right out the gate, ND Gal comes into the chat. Brandon Wimbush for Heisman. We want to check up on our boys, so what better way to do it? And to bid farewell, we're going to give you the Game of Thrones final season you actually wanted <laughs> with the Night's Watch. So, Shane, I mean, th this is kind of your thing. I was able to catch some bits and pieces of it uh, while doing the chaos of dinner and putting the kids to bed. But, uh, I mean, at least from what little I saw, Wimbush uh, kind of had some of the same struggles we saw, but... He's picking apart an inferior team right now. How have you felt about the debut? So listen, I mean, what a perfect time to work this in because the first and foremost, the game is currently ongoing. But don't let that fool you because it was 48 to nothing at the half. <laughs> okay? <laughs> this UCF team is now on a 27-game streak of scoring more than 30 points. Uh, it's. I know there's a lot to be said about Mackenzie Milton's injury. Apparently, good news out of the, out of his uh, camp today was that he finally has full feeling back in his right foot, <laughs> um, which should tell you how fucked up that injury was. Uh, but Brandon Wimbush has assumed the quote unquote starting role. He is technically splitting that um, with a another freshman. I believe his name is Dylan. Uh, Dylan Gibbons. Is that the, the left-handed guy I saw come in for a couple of plays? A Hawaiian, yeah, Hawaiian freshman quarterback. And they've been kind of – this is just perfect because like, like Brandon Wimbush goes from one two-quarterback system to another two-quarterback <laughs> system. <laughs> Only this time, I mean, he's flourishing. You know, they have a, a very, very outstanding running back. In, uh, his name is Bobby McRae, uh, and he already has a touchdown. The, apparently, the go-to receiver so far has been Greg Davis, uh, what Brandon Wimbush has connected with him for two already. But they have a player named Otis Sanderson. Otis Anderson on this team. He's a wide receiver. The kid is so good 
that Josh, uh, the co- head coach Josh Heupel, has a chart called the Otis chart. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and every two to three drives, they pull out the Otis chart and just say, "Which one of these can we give to him?" Because that's all they want to do is get that kid the ball. Is he um, one of those that's it, that good where you wave that chart in front of somebody's face? Like, it's yeah. coming to him. You ain't going to stop him. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're calling Otis One. Otis <laughs> One, guys. Um, but, you know, obviously the offense is trucking. They're, they're doing really well. But let's be fair. They're up against the FAMU uh, offense who um, accumulated a, let me check the notes, total of 25 yards of offense in the first half. Ooh, that's a little rough. That's a little you know, rough. Their, their quarterback at one point was three for 18. <clears throat> For 10 yards. <laughs> oh, dear. So, oh dear. I mean, look, everything goes in perspective, but I want you guys to understand that this UCF team, they may be called the Knights, formerly the Golden Knights, but for me, they're the Irish Knights. Okay. They got Brandon <laughs> Wimbush. They have former recruiting video god Parker Boudreaux, who pulled the fucking truck. I he completely to forgot about that guy until I saw like somebody tweet him into my timeline. I'm like, oh, that's right. That's where that guy went. Also, one of the nicest kids you can meet on Twitter. Like, if you want to talk to him, he wants to talk to you. He also wants to play people in Madden all the time. Uh, <laughs> and then they also have Jonathan McAllister, a name we may not remember, but he's also on that team. So we've been, we've essentially created what UCF's got to work with. We have loaned them some of our formerly, you know, stellar assets, and now they are the Irish Knights. So we're going to keep you guys up to date pretty much every week, every sim throughout the season, because guess what? I'm watching all their damn games. Yeah, oh man, I'm excited. I've been. We, this is something that floated around once we found out where Wimbush was going. Shane lost his mind. I I, <laughs> I genuinely considered a buying his jersey and b buying tickets to a game, <laughs> like not even playing. Oh man, it's this is gonna be great. I enjoy it. The fact we can tie in the Game of Thrones stuff is awesome. And by the way, now's dude. now's a good time. Uh, that song that you heard, uh, that is a cover from Husky by the Geek. Uh, you can find them over on YouTube and SoundCloud and Facebook. Uh, just search for Husky by the Geek. Uh, very kind enough uh, to just let us use it. And all he says is like, "Hey man, I just want credit." I'm like, "Oh, yep. awesome." Hey. Guy does a bunch of video game. Cover. Yeah, he guy does a bunch of video game covers. Uh, I caught him for Final Fantasy stuff. He's got Zelda stuff, Street Fighter, F Zero, dude. He is awesome. And all those layers, like the bass, the multiple guitars, he layers all those himself and has a Man. drum machine in the background. So Listen, you had me at Zelda, bro. Jesus. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's uh, there's there's gonna be some stuff for extra life. Uh, he he's yeah. gonna have some interlude music for sure in there. But uh, all that being said. I mean, should we should we sim? Should we sim? You guys, I mean, we're going to sim. All right. <laughs> and for those of you that haven't caught it before, because we're doing a lot of reintroduction stuff, let me quickly reintroduce the sim to you. So everybody does their usual preview, breaks things down. No, 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 no. That's not what we do here. We do things a little bit different. We decided we're going to let the Xbox that's sitting right over there on my <laughs> desk to preview the game for us. We're going to break everything down based on what the Xbox does. We're going to give play-by-play. It is one of the most fun things that we do consistently. I have been looking forward to this. Everybody in the chat has been looking forward to this. Man, should we just roll into it, Shane? I can't wait, so yes, please. Okay, but first, let's take care of a little bit of podcast business. Sorry, guys, it has to happen. Uh, We're doing the mid-roll super early, but... Uh, for you people on Twitch, this is a, a general generous reminder for y'all. One, can support the show by doing subs. If you are cooked up to Amazon Prime, you can get a month free. All you have to do is re-up. And if you haven't hooked up, you'll actually see an overlay that reminds you it's there. So go ahead and click that sucker and use it. Help support the show. The other thing, and the thing I want to really drive home, if you have something called Bits, this is the virtual currency, which is literally pennies. Every bit is about a penny. You can buy these in bulk from Twitch. If you do slash cheer and the number and you type in a message, it will appear and it will be text to chat on the stream. So this is a way for you to continuously inject yourself because we do the best we can. And we're actually going to have the chat in the overlay this year. We will do the best we can to keep up. But if you absolutely want to make sure you get what you want in, yeah, go ahead and throw those pennies in and let's have a little bit of fun. So with all that being said, we're going to get right back into this. All right, I appreciate everybody allowing me to troll them for just a little bit. But, folks, it is time. We are back. Let's get that NCAA sim going. Oh, we're already having our first technical difficulties of the season. There we go. 
But we are here Monday Night Football. Notre Dame, Louisville Cardinals. And the only the only downside of this game is that it is on a Monday night. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, shit. And on ESPN, that's also another downside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's why we have the NFL Monday night. We already had the, wait, NFL? Yeah, that's why. We're, we're, we're leaning hard into the bit. Now, yep. apparently this game is going to be broadcast from a blimp as well. <laughs> Can we just say that this is still Papa John's Cardinal Stadium, and I love that? <laughs> <laughs> they have not completely disowned him in the sim. Well, the toss is up. Notre Dame is won. Uh, Notre Dame is lost, and it looks like Louisville will defer. All right. And folks, here we go. It is time to kick off another sim season. Oh boy! Oh. Let's do the damn thing. All right, let's do the damn thing. And apparently, the audio is not coming in because I'm real smart. Jafar Armstrong gets a 27-yard return right off the bat, and that will bring out Ian Book and the Notre Dame offense. And my anxiety. Oh, yeah. So I've already had people saying, yes, it's great that I'm ready for a football sim to give me a heart attack. And there we go. We got a handoff and we got sound. Jafar Armstrong starts off with a seven yard gain up the gut. Second and three coming up. Feels like they're just going to try to wear him down, test him out up the front, see how they're doing up there. Book in the shotgun. He's got three wide. Tight end in motion. Read option. Book will pull it down. And Book breaks the tackle in the backfield. Stiff arm in the backfield, and he's finally brought down. A loss of one. Third and four upcoming. Yeah, not exactly the best decision there, you know. But, you know, you got you to gotta shake the cobwebs. Yeah, absolutely. Shake the cobwebs, just like we are here on, on the stream with the audio yeah. and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Book throws it over the middle. That's a first down if um, Brock Wright doesn't decide to run all the way in the backfield after he catches the ball. Yeah, so I feel like this is common in this game. Oh, okay, what? Oh, I was going to say that. No, no, yeah, no, fourth and one. Or we are punting this. But go <laughs> ahead, Shane. I just, it feels like this is something this game does a lot, where they have those comeback routes, but the, the receiver never remembers to then keep going. <laughs> Part of that comeback's a stop. And uh, we got a punt return here from Atwell. He gets it for eight yards. Louisville will take over at their own 33, it looks like. So it comes the Puma. So three and out for the Irish. And for those of you that missed the extra life charity sim, this is about how it started, but against FAU. <laughs> also every time this happens. <laughs> Louisville will come out under center. Two wide. Hand off, off tackle, and the defense below with a two yard loss on that hey. one. Nice. Shout out to Rake Samal over here, right? His boy. Hey, hey, let's not forget who who ranked him high in that right, top twenty five. Right. I, I stand for Bilal, man. <laughs> I hope so. I hope he has a great fucking season. Well, Louisville comes out now with three wide. And the Irish defense has a run up the middle. They got a face, and they stuff it once again. Hawkins only gets four yards. Third and long upcoming. Third and so eight to be specific. have a sample size of two, but I feel like this whole run thing is not it. <laughs> well, Louisville's got a lot of rebuilding to do, and they're four wide in the shotgun. They hand off again, and tripped up in the backfield is Hawkins. He only gets two yards and another three and out. Tried to tell you. <laughs> Hey, so, I mean, like we said, we're doing a major rebuilding project here at Louisville. So that's this is where Notre Dame should take advantage. This should be about how it, it comes out. There's not much of a defense. There's not much of an offense. And pun is away. Fink has it at the 25, 30, 35. And he gets brought down at about the 38-yard line. Nice little 12-yard return. Yeah, I mean, I just it feels like, you know, the, the, the most of the offense is going to run through Juwan Pass. And, frankly, I know he was touted as a double, dual threat. But I, with his offensive line, he might just be a single threat at this point. Book back in the shotgun. That's three wide. Taking his time here. And this handoff's going to go to Armstrong. He waits for a hole to develop at the middle and gets four yards before he's brought down. Second and six upcoming. So far, the offense playing conservative. I'm just waiting for them to just push it downfield. I mean, that's the expectation this year is they're going to try to push it. Run the damn ball is all we've done so far. And here's a drop back. Well, there has been one pass. And here comes another. This one complete down the sideline to Fink. First down after an eight-yard gain. Cross midfield. And the Irish, of course, stay in no huddle. Uh, they're right at midfield. That was right a midfield, really right. shitty spot. All right, right. And another handoff here to Armstrong. He waits. Very patient running by Armstrong. And he oh. barrels his way forward for nine yards, dragging two defenders with him. Yeah, I mean, these spots are a little bit they're a little bit tight. That could have been a first, but all right. <laughs> Irish come out again. Three wide. Book. This could be a chance for a shot. Nope. They're going to go ahead and run it. They're going to get the first down. Just two-yard game. But the Irish move the chains. Ah, well, I mean, listen, if it's working, you know, why complicate things, right? 
So now Book comes under center on the Louisville 39-yard line. He drops back, delayed handoff. Again, good patience of vision from Armstrong. Another nine-yard gain. Yeah, so this looks like this is the pacing, right? They're basically lulling them to sleep. And, and oh, oh, shit, look at that. We're almost at the red zone. Whoops. Yeah, pretty much on the 30 right now. Book, read option. Everybody goes after Armstrong. Book has a first down and more. Breaks the tackle across the 20, oh. 15 oh. to the 10-yard line. 20-yard gain. Ian Fine. Book. Wow. All right. I mean, see, this is the thing you would expect, man. Everyone's talking about Book's passing ability is downfield, but dude, his, his vision and, of course, his offensive line is lead blockers. I mean, he, he he has nothing but time. He he has taken to this read option offense of Chip Long and has been absolutely incredible with it. Uh, it's been a fantastic revelation in this offense. And Book, handoff, delayed to Jafar, and he tries to barrel forward and apparently gets catapulted back after getting nine yards. I'm going to say, uh, what? <laughs> All right, second and one. Might as well be second and goal. Notre Dame saying in this three-wide formation. Armstrong off to Book's left in the shotgun. Read option. Book's going to take it himself. Touchdown, and Irish. Kind of, uh, kind of like a hot knife through butter there a little bit. <laughs> well, that is, yeah, we're, we're getting our reading rainbow on. You know we are. Book with the TD. 429 left here to go in the first, and the Irish take a 7-0 lead after the door extra point is good. Well, I tell you what, I mean that's that's one way to start it off. The door is gonna kick off here. Let's see if we have right to the edge of the end zone like all year last year. Yes! <laughs> Irish Elvis with garlic butter from Papa John's. <laughs> We're back, guys. Oh, We're back. We, we are absolutely back. With 425 left, uh, Louisville will take over at their 24-yard line after going three and out on three very ill-fated runs. Single back, two tight end formation. Tight end coming in motion to the near sideline for Louisville. Hand off, up the middle attempt, and runs around some blitzers. That's a big fit 19-yard gain. First down, Louisville. Uh, Javine, Javine? Javine Hawkins? Javian. 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 Reading is fundamental. After playing Reading Rainbow, I can't even read the names on the screen. I can't read anything. Hawkins gets the handoff here. He tries again to go up the middle, and he is stopped after five yards. Yeah, it falls backwards, and that looked like it hurt. <laughs> I mean, once again, uh, just big pushes right now by the line. It always looks like the defense is getting there, but it's just a little bit much. Yep. Oh, but not this time. Alohi Gilman inside. cleans up first contact from Hayes. One yard loss by Hawkins. I suspect this is going to be a theme in that the safeties just appear and ruin people's days. Throughout the entire season. Hopefully, I, the first Kyle Hamilton interception we have will be beautiful. As will the 50th. I'm going to drop back to pass here, and it is complete, but stop short. Bilal stops him short. Fourth and inches coming up. That was a hell of a stick. Got him. I mean, there was no getting through that. Nothing. <laughs> Louisville is waving the white flag. They will punt despite being in Irish territory in fourth and inches. And granted, they were on the 47, but still. Oh, well, that's that's always what you want to see. A touchback to give you a net gain of like 30 yards on a punt. Brilliant. <laughs> Good you know would be proud? Bobby Petrino. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Petrino would not give half a shit. <laughs> no, you just get on his bike and say get on. Irish decided to put another receiver out on this drive, but Jafari gets the handoff across the 25, across to the 30, and that's another Irish first Still down. Still working. Still working. The late handoff, cutting up the middle. Oh, this is some great. So another four wide again, exact same formation. Three receivers bunched towards the far side line. Read option. Book pulls it down. He is again stiff arming fools, and he gets about uh, five yards on that one. Second and five coming up. Yep, that extra little drag, though. That's what got him that fifth yard, man. Uh, Irish Elvis would like you to know that you should never put Bobby Petrino and touch back in the same sentence, no matter what the context. <laughs> Unless it's a court proceeding. Oh, God. Well, we got a pass complete to Fink. Ten-yard game. Chris Fink, number 10 for 10. First down Irish on their own 48-yard line. And now the four receivers come bunch, two on each side. Look, back to pass, throws it across the middle, and this is complete to Chase Claypool. We have our first Canadian inf influence of the season. Yeah, eh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. Second and three, book in the shotgun. Play action pass. Book has a lot of time, and it is complete down the sideline. Lawrence Keyes gets his first reception of the season. All right, welcome to the show, freshman. First down, Irish. Freshman or sophomore now? I forget. Is he? Is or did he redshirt? I don't even remember. 
Book back to pass. And again, complete to Keys about the same route there, but he gets eight yards after the catch this time. All Second right. and two coming up, 230 left to go in the first. Letting him know, like, hey, man, I see you. Book a perfect six for six. I'm telling you, reverse Samson, he shaved the mustache and got power. <laughs> Brock Wright now gets an eight-yard gain, another first down for the Irish. They are now to the Louisville 26-yard line. This is methodical, Shane. Hey, just dealing and getting everybody involved. And he literally has distributed the ball to every every receiver so far. Uh, that there there's the bullshit. There it is. There it is. Offensive line. <laughs> so we have our first penalty on the season, and it is a false start. So the Irish will be backed up. They weren't in the red zone yet, so we can't call this red it's zone the trouble. First quarter false start. That's the thing. <laughs> hey, look! It waited till the end. I mean, that's true. on the true. road, that's the okay. Drive. So in a two tight set, book drops back from under center. It is complete over the middle to Claypool for eight yards. Second and seven coming up. Got to be careful. He's, he's getting Claypool in kind of heavy traffic there. <laughs> Second and seven. I'm laughing at the why is the Cardinal upside down? Is it a legal consequence of being in Papa John Stadium? <laughs> Probably. Book back to pass. Oh, he is oh. hit as he throws, and thankfully his arm was going forward. Oof. That could have been a disaster. Oh, the laughter stopped there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, a, a little bit of offensive line growing pains. You know, you got Five to wide it. drink. Oh, shit. Here we go. All right. Third and seven. Book back to pass, and he will throw this one away. So now we will have door to uh, let's do a little field goal adventure, shall we? Yeah, an adventure is definitely an accurate exist. We'll see. And here's a 40-yard attempt on the left hash. The kick is up, and it is good. Look at that. First, I mean, look, I, it's a video game, but I'm still nervous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I, I feel confident. I feel like Dora has built co virtual confidence that will transfer over. Hey, look, this kick actually goes a couple yards in the end zone. Got out of bounds. And another, again, great coverage there. Hall only gets 25 yards on the return, counting those couple from the end zone. First and 10 upcoming on the Louisville 23. Uh, Father Soren, I sure hope there is not a reason to worry about this game on Monday night. No, no. That's not, no. Oh. All right, four wide under center for Louisville, and this is a delayed handoff, and the C's part there a little bit. Pride finally brings him down after a six-yard gain. If you guys hear anything in my in my audio, there's like an insane thunderstorm outside. Just uh, heads oh. up. Oh, no, is it starting? No. <laughs> it's Florida, my friend. It's Florida. And uh, there is a first down there. Hawkins gets a four-yard outlet out to the flat. First down, Louisville. They are now on their own 35-yard line. Sticking with their four-wide look, now they go no huddle. Receiver coming in motion down towards the near sideline. And uh, apparently we're changing all the plays. Yeah, right. And he's just going to say F it and tuck it and run and slides before he is absolutely murdered there by Shane Simon. Yeah, that's because apparently White is not on this roster, who is apparently starting. So What? <laughs> yeah, it's very weird. All right, read option and pass. Pass running for the okay. first down for 11 start. yards. Start. They're going to feel like they found something they like. That seems to be working. Yeah, for the first time all game, they are in Irish territory. They have three wide down on the far sideline. And again, another handoff here to Hawk Haskins. Or Hawkins, sorry. And that's a nine-yard gain, and apparently somebody's striking a pose there in the middle. That was interesting. Okay. <laughs> He's just standing there. You see that? He was way just a little, late to get little there. pose. It's like trying to leprechaun in the middle of the field. And we have our first penalty on Louisville. It will be another false start. So instead of second and one, it will be second and six. And you can't do that if you're this big of an underdog. That's the thing, yeah. Now the question is whether or not they're really going to pay for it right now. Because if they lose yards on this, then it's all, oh, shit. He'll pass out in the pistol now. Hawkins gets the ball, and he maybe, no, he does not have the first down. A six-yard gain, third and inches, with 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. What they are the well, yeah, they're well into Irish territory, and this is a speed option. We know that doesn't oh. work. We oh. know that doesn't work. <laughs> is he Hayes. Alive? Yeah, Hayes, um, uh, you see, usually you read the DN, but it kind of sucks when the DN is telling you to read this face all up in You're there. You're about to punt. <laughs> <laughs> Punting from damn near the Irish 40-yard line. Uh, fuck. I, I, and again, this one's going to go all the way back in the end zone. Now, see, that is what we got to worry about saying Petrino and end 
zone in the same word. Okay. <laughs> end zone or tight end or really all of them. Yeah, touch touchbacks a little. Oh, oh, no, nope, we got four wide. I thought we had five for a second. We got four wide in the backfield. This handoff is going to go to Armstrong to run out the quarter for no game. And after one, it is going to be Notre Dame 10, Louisville nothing. Look, I, I know we're on offense, but I seriously think someone should check on Juwan Pass after that shit. <laughs> Hayes. So this is this is one of the things that we're, we're actually going to benefit from is, you know, we have all the big names on defense. you got your Julian Aquar, your Khalid Kareems, all these presumption, uh, presumptuous All-Americans. And yet, Dalen Hayes, a former five-star recruit, just sitting there wrecking shit. As the, an embarrassment of riches right now. It is. I mean, the two and three deep on this line is is beautiful. It's not quite Clemson and Bama quality, but ooh, it's pretty. Yeah. And it uh, looked like a, a little bit of a handoff there. I couldn't tell if that was a read option or not. But uh, third and nine. So the Irish have yet to convert a third down, oddly enough, with this lead. We'll come okay. out with four wide, booking the shotgun. Back to pass. Has all freaking day. And now doesn't have all day. And he is brought down. It's no gain. And somehow Patterson has the football. What? This game's already. Russians have already hacked this shit. It's already happened. So the Irish will punt for the first time all season. Let's see how this choose your own special teams adventure goes. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> a pretty decent kick all the way down to the 40. Uh, but Louisville will have good field position. Uh, looks like in Irish territory at the 49. Yeah, so we clearly still have a situation where Simbook has this, you know, glue in his hands, not letting football go thing. But yeah, <laughs> we'll see how that plays out. Uh, do we drink on opposing five wides? Oh, fuck yeah. Five wide. <laughs> Oh, this is complete. Down a little post action there. 19-yard game from Seth Dawkins. Okay. So with 7.15 left here to go in the half, Louisville on the Irish 30. And another 5 wide drink. Back to pass. And again, uh, the little curl route where, thankfully, no he ran backwards because it made it only a 9-yard gain instead of maybe 12. Just a cavern in the middle of the defense. Did you see that? I mean, what? Yep, seen that before. Another 5 wide here. Go. They find what works. Pass passes down into the flat. Hey, that looked like uh, one of those illegal rub routes. So there's a flag. Let's see what oh, this shit. is for. Please say it's a pick. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it is a face mask on the iris. So Louisville will get to advance all the way to the seven. Kareem, the guilty party on that one. Yeah, that 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 was not great. Not great at all. Well, Louisville will come up under center. They got two tight ends, single back. Tight end in motion, settles into fullback position, handoff up the middle, and breaks tackles and touchdown Louisville. Hawkins takes it in for six after the seven-yard run. It, we get it. It's fine. It's the courtesy touchdown. It's the let them think they're in it. You know, it's about to be the half. Maybe they'll be hopeful, and then we'll murder them in a the second. It's fine. <laughs> Hit and roll for the game. Each team is rotating BVG as defensive coordinator, says Milfi. <laughs> hey, you know what? Maybe we should look into that. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got to toss the BVG emote now out there now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. All right, well now 10-7. This game got a little bit more interesting in a hurry, and this will be returned out from yeah. the end zone. And Armstrong chucking a couple tackles there, but gets 22 yards on that one. Yeah, not an outstanding return, but you know got back to where you want to be. So we'll see what Book does after having a, a little bit of a rough. Rough drive. It's been like on, off, on, off so just far. Just to see more downfield passing at this point. They haven't really tested the deep ball. Well, I mean, when they keep running for about five yards a clip, like that handoff up the gut to Armstrong, I, I kind of don't blame him. Five point four. Roll them into the box and then you know shred them over the top. Oh, well, it looks. It looks like they got a good seven that are clumped in there right now. So yeah. let's see what happens here. Read option. Book runs over a defender for a two yard gain. Third and three okay. coming up. Irish on their own 20 yard dot, 29 yard line. Book will come under center, has three wide. And a handoff here to Armstrong. He pushes his way forward for a four yard gain. That's an Irish first down. Yeah, man, that's a man run right there. But this is, I, I, I want to know what the splits are right now between run pass because this is something. It's run heavy. I mean, heavy. Well, Book now goes down to pass. This comes out towards the near sideline. And I believe this is, yes, this is key, seven-yard gain. He was trying to make a little something happen there at the end. Second, so they're, they're, they're testing the passing out wide, but they need to push the ball, man. Yeah, second and three. Yeah, no, no pass is really downfield yet. We'll see if that deep ball comes into play soon. But this one is a delay handoff. Armstrong waits for the hole to develop and another five-yard gain. Do it and do it. 
I mean, this is one of those things, though, where if you do have this advantage, you just beat the hell out of your opponent, and then it just lights it up in the second half. Another handoff up the gut, and another five-yard gain. Hey, look at that. I mean, it's, it's hard to argue with it. 63 yeah. yards so far on the night for Armstrong in the first half. Yeah, the question is just whether or not, you know, they, they incorporate enough variety to keep this up, you know? Notre Dame comes out with the two tight end set, speaking of variety, and this is going off tackle for Armstrong, and he runs oh. somebody. No, that's Tony Jones, excuse me, for 13 well, yards. Man. Much this. much said about Tony Jones in the offseason, whether or not he was going to hold that second spot. I think there's no question at this point. Yeah, and in, in very power running formation right now, which is yep. very well suited. Uh, this pass goes a little bit nowhere. Book, uh, timing was off. Receiver was open. Looked like he was going for right. Yeah, uh, he hit the spot just before Brock Wright could get there. Yeah, Brock Wright was still in the middle of his break there. So the Irish will come out with four wide, no tight ends. And Book is back to pass. Has a lot of time, but needs to do right. something. Let Steps up. Throws off his back foot to fake across the oh, middle. Oh, shit. It is complete. No, excuse me. That is Lindsay for 19 wow. yards. I cannot read numbers worth shit right now. <laughs> but hey, creative play right there. I mean, that that's uh, that was oddly real. <laughs> I do not want to see him throw off his back foot ever. No, no, no. no. <laughs> this pass is complete. This is to Fink. Seven-yard yeah. gain, second and three. The Irish are now inside the red zone, inside the 10-yard line, excuse They're me. They're stepping on the pedal real hard right now. 88 yards so far through the air for Book. So yardage-wise, pretty even. I, I really want to see those plate splits, though. Uh, yep. Book will just throw this one away. Yep. So he's got 15 passes. We'll see how many attempts Armstrong has. And then I'll add a couple for Jones. But three wide shotgun. Irish are third and three on the 10-yard line. Book changing the play. Drops back to pass. Has a lot of time. And again, throws yes. it away. Uh, I understand being careful with the ball, but you're on the road, son. Just, just go yep. for it. Third and three. It looks like they had the spot there, but he was just letting it go early. Well, Dorr is going to get a little bit of an extra test here on the field goal as he will be backed up an additional five yards after the false start. Okay. And this will be a 34-yard attempt. Uh, 33, actually, excuse me. And Dorr has the kick up, and that two is good. So two for two on the field goal adventures. 434 left to go here in the half. Glad he's two for two. I am not happy about 13 to seven. <laughs> Especially in an entire half. Come on. Well, this kick again, edge of the end zone, and it is returned past the 25. Now cutting towards the 30. And oh, man, Hall almost broke that tackle. A 32 yard gain. Hey, Reyna, how are you doing? This is actually Mia this time. Oh, Mia's there. Okay. Yeah, they're a little scared of the lightning right now, so they're coming <laughs> to the shelter. So we have cats on Sim. That's right. Say hi, baby. Louisville comes out three wide near uh, near sideline, but pass will drop it down and run, and he gets about 12 yards before he is stopped by Gilman. First down, Louisville. They will be on their own 45-yard line. Does the Sim know about the leopard cat? We've been asked. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know. Well, look, much like Notre Dame, I've got multiple mascots. So. <laughs> And I, I think the sim uh, has has broken itself because Pass uh, is not wanting to go under center. He's just kind of hanging just around. Just standing there. There is 10 seconds left on the play clock. Yeah, so come this, back here. this Mia, looks come back here. Every time you come on, this shit breaks. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> so this will end up being first and 15. That, Man, you just took it. You just took it. <laughs> no timeouts, nothing. All right. Just complete broken garbage. Watch them decline. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. So first and 15 now, a 422 left to go. Right. Louisville That's comes out with four wide. Irish only with three down linemen on this, and it is a run, and a tackle broken in the backfield, and more tackles broken. Hawkins, nine-yard gain. The tackling uh, looked like Florida and Miami there for a second. Yeah, right. I mean, it's the first time they're busting out these counter moves. So, I mean, there's going to be some adjustments, but they're playing with the three the three down linemen. So, like, that wasn't exactly optimal. Read option from oh. the pistol. Stop behind the line, but I fear this is a face mask. Is it? Oh, holding. Okay. There you go. So, Notre Dame is going to take this penalty. It will make it second and 16. 402 left in the half. And uh, angry coach. Angry coach yeah. cutscene. I would have taken, taken the down there, man. I would have as well, because that would have made it a second and ten after the four-yard loss. 
Uh, but pass will drop back wide open. The tight end, nobody home. Elliot, Elliot finally brings down Pfeiffer after a 17 yard gain. First down in Irish territory. They are on the Irish 44 is Louisville. Single back. Tight end goes in motion over towards the far sideline. And a play action. And again, exact same play it looked like out into the flat. I mean, I'm not sure what this defensive alignment is supposed to be doing there. But uh, that whole spot is just wide open. It is not defend the flat alignment. <laughs> Second and one here for Louisville. Play action, a little bit of a bootleg here. Pass throws it down the near sideline, and it is dropped. Open. That is the first incompletion for pass in the game. Yikes! Big letdown. I think the defense is spring pressure here. Well, we'll see what happens. Almost offside. Here comes the blitz. Oh shit! And it is beaten over the middle. Fitzpatrick gets nine yards and a first down. Yeah, I mean they had the right idea. On the ND26 is Louisville. Pass will come under center. He has three wide, single back. And again, another offside almost. And into the flat once again. So abusing the flats in the middle right now is 2-2 Atwell. Gets an 11-yard gain, first and 10. And this is their first trip, in, oh, second trip into the red zone. Excuse They're me. Playing this soft man coverage right now. It is not fucking working. Clark Lee, get your old shit together. Pass drops back, and again, oh my goodness, that was almost a bowling over into the end zone. Dawkins just sat in that soft zone. 15-yard yeah, 15 yard gain literally on the doorstep of the goal line is Louisville. You know, Irish Elvis says he's not ready to trail 14 to 13, but... <laughs> well, Louisville's trying to help out with that false start, so they will back up to the five. <laughs> it's almost like this team is really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, right? Something like that. Odd feeling. So four wide shotgun formation, full spread here, and stopped right at the line is Hawkins. A very nice play. There was contact behind the line as well. Hayes cleaned that one up. I mean, there's something about flow of the game where it's like when you get a penalty, I'm not sure a draw plays the answer. And it looks like we may have another false start here. Yeah. Wow, just shooting yeah. themselves in the foot right I'm now. I'm telling you, man. You know, when you're, when you're trying to get back into, into just sound execution, something about delays or just like delayed plays, it just doesn't doesn't flow right with, with clear execution. You want to just go for it. Do what works. Hit the flats. All they had to or do don't. was fall into the end zone, and now they're on the 10-yard line. And this handoff goes off tackle, but Bilal cleans it up for no game. What the fuck are they doing? I, I, honest, I honestly, at this point, have no idea. Good for them. And another false start penalty. So can we just call him Scott Shatterfield now? This this is unreal. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, what is Scott doing over there in the, the coaching? Anything? <laughs> well, third and goal on the 15. This is how you know shit went south. This is shades of like third and 40 something yards. This is like shit Notre Dame used to do. Oh, boy. And that was a little out route, which was a nice 10-yard uh, game, but um, that's going to come up five yards short of the end zone. So Louisville will have to sell for the field goal. Yo, look at the score update. UCF 62, FAU nothing. Oh, my goodness. Well, that kick is up and go for Louisville. So Notre Dame holds on to that lead. Not exactly what you want to see for a team that Eddie and I both picked to cover 19. Yeah, see, um, same. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, they, they, so far, their offense has been incredibly uncreative. Um, they haven't really tried to stretch the field in any way, and the defense has just been letting small pockets of areas ex be exposed. I'm not sure what the hell they're doing. I am two drives away from re reading NDN posts. Oh, God. <laughs> As the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> Four wide, book in the shotgun, handoff to Armstrong. I mean, it's been working all day long, and he gets it. a first down. Okay. 123 yards in the ground in the half. Look, I can't, I can't hate on that. It's just a matter of like, you know, the, the pacing of the game is like we, the defense has been on the field too long. The offense is taking too long to put points. Now. And Book will pull this one down, and he has a room. first down. Got room. 14 yard gain. The Irish going to knock on the door. 150 in the half. Hey, let's get it done. If they can put points, I mean, they just need six to go into the halftime. And Book now drops back to pass. He throws down the middle, complete to Claypool. Oh. Is a first down, and oh, man, that looked bad on the knees, but a 15-yard gain. 150 left to go in the half. <laughs> Hijo de putin. 
I am calling him Hijo de Putin from now on. That's perfect. <laughs> well, we got a screen getting set up here. Armstrong has some blockers, but Patterson blocks somebody right into him. Or rather, Armstrong goes outside the blockers, probably more accurately. Armstrong was like, where are you sending him? That way? I'll meet you there. <laughs> so the ball is on Louisville 32 right now. Still four wide, three to the near sideline for the Irish. Book back in the shotgun. He is back to pass once again. Steps That's up it. in the pocket. Throws complete. There you go. You got some rooms. And that is complete to Keys for a six-yard gain. Third and three with 120 left to go. And Keys getting up very slow. Yeah, that's a shoulder. So just in case you're wondering, Notre Dame has not used any of their timeouts. Neither is Louisville. As we come to 108 remaining, Book drops back to pass. And he throws it complete to right, and he has a first down. Is he? A, I don't know. That looked like a hurdle attempt, but it looked more like a skip. Right, yeah. He just kind of, like, frolics through the flowers. <laughs> First and 10 on the Louisville 22. Book under center. Drops back. Three-step drop. A quick slant there that is incomplete. Had it and then jarred loose. Okay, so I'm just, call I'm just calling this back. When Lawrence Keyes was injured, he was tackled by a player named Russ Yeast. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make everybody feel? Moist? <laughs> and the pass complete down the sideline to... I thought I subbed Michael Young out, but apparently he Michael resurrected. Young. All right. He is he's healed. That is that is weird because he is six on the depth chart right now. We'll call him Lindsay. Fuck it. <laughs> and another and false a, start. <laughs> cool, guys. We're gonna start drinking for false starts at this rate. I mean, maybe. I've been drinking for just fucking anything. <laughs> Well, Book back in the shotgun, three wide. Irish are on the 22-yard line of Louisville. 50, 55 seconds left to go, third and 10 as we reset everything here. Book back to pass, setting up a screen, and this is complete. Blockers ahead, Blocker. and Jones looks like he's going to barrel all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, yeah. Irish. That is how you finish before the half right there. Now the defense is doing their job. Uh, and Tony Jones, I mean, shades of SC right there. Little shades of SC, feeling like a maybe a little Jonas Gray type season could be in the works. Uh, I tell you what, I am very excited, and I am very high on the Irish backfield. Especially these power runners, man. Like it's such a speed offense. You know, you get that change of pace back that can just truck people. And we're gonna have an extra point attempt that is up and good. So Notre Dame twenty, Louisville ten. Forty-seven seconds left to go in the half. So I mean, Shane, if you end it like this, this half. You gotta feel good considering how sloppy this play's been so far. I feel much less um, clenched. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I know we worried a lot about special teams, but the kickoff coverage has been pretty hey, damn good. It's been lights out so far. And honestly, so has Door. But, it's, you know, so it's okay. Hey, but yeah, two for two. Two for two yeah. on the road is not just, We need that. Pass Send drops it. back in the shotgun. Complete down to Pfeiffer along the sideline and he has nine yards, second and one 38 seconds left as Louisville takes the timeout. Okay, Let's see if they try to do this uh, no huddle, fucking up tempo Notre Dame coming out with only three down linemen, screen upcoming and Notre Dame blisses and is caught. Of course, of and, course. but however he is, uh, Hawkins is brought down, first down, two yard gain brought down inbound so Louisville burns another timeout, 31 seconds left to go I was go. gonna say, the spot should have given him forward progress, right? It's yeah first. And pass will bring it down, and he again is go. Oh, he breaks some tackles, but brought down inbounds after a seven yard gain. Second and three. Louisville holding on to that timeout. 20 seconds left. And still not set. 17. Drop him in dimes. Yeah. Pass back to pass. Chucks it deep. Picked off. Ole. And that is Elliott to seal the half right there. No, excuse me. That is Sean Crawford. That's your right. That's your boy. That is my boy. Welcome back, Sean. Welcome back, Bionic Man. When nine yeah. seconds left to go, Sean Crawford proves me right on my ranking. Goose. You try to call me out, Farmer. Look at that. The Sim proves me right. <laughs> <laughs> and Armstrong will take the handoff to bleed the rest of this clock for the half. So as we wind things down, Notre Dame 20, Louisville 10. That is how you steal momentum. First and foremost, you get the score. Obviously, you know, the, the, the meme exists. Too much time. Too much time. <laughs> but, you know, when you put a when you put a team in position to work two timeouts and the entirety of the field, this is what you're going to get. 
a, a, a turnover right at the moment, and then all they do now is they steal momentum. Louisville gets the ball in the second half. So this was absolutely clutch. Yeah, so, I mean, that was best you can hope for, but uh, Louisville did defer, if I remember correctly, so they will get the ball to start the second half as we yep. uh, check out some highlights. I mean, it's a little sloppy. You got week one jitters. You, you, yeah. you got that going on. Uh, so It looks like so far the, the, the overwhelming presence on this Notre Dame offense and defense have been the upper class. Yeah, I mean, Lawrence Keyes has flashed. You know, you had a little bit here of Braden Lindsay showing, but... It's been the upperclassmen establishing that, like, bitch, we've been here. We know what we're doing. Who the fuck are you? Well, as we take a look at the stats here, uh, the big thing that stops out, a lot of things actually even, but rush yards, not so much. 140 to 99. Now, I will say this. Giving up 100 rushing yards, Louisville and a half makes me just a wee bit nervous. Not a great sign. No, it's almost like we may have linebacker questions. What? Well, this kick is away. And Dorr, of course, consistent as ever, right at the edge of the end zone. And the, again, the coverage is right there. Louisville will start at maybe like the 25 and a half here. Okay. It's just a matter of continuing to stomp on their throats. Like now the defense has to kind of up their game, play a little bit conservative in the back end of the defense since they've been working these flats and these deep routes. Here you go. A little curl over the middle, but this time brought down by three Irish defenders is Pete. Second and six upcoming for Louisville. There are your linebackers. Linebackers don't look like guilt. the flying Hawaiian was there to clean up the rest of it, too. And a good stuff. Oh, it was almost a stuff up the gut, but uh, ah, maybe, we, maybe we got some shaky linebacker tackling there. Shane was Simon that, got run over. I was going to say, was that the sub of Drew White? That's what I thought. Yes. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to have to create Drew in here. It's going like to have to happen. Like yeah, I apologize, Drew. <laughs> this is not my fault. No, oh. A little pass out to the flat for Hawkins. It is second and six after the four-yard gain. Louisville has pushed it up to their own 43-yard line. They're going up tempo now. And a handoff here to Haw Hawkins for a one-yard gain. Third and five coming up. So it would be nice to keep that momentum going if the Irish can get Louisville off the field and yeah. make sure there is no loss, uh, no gained momentum, rather. Uh, that being said, there's an out down to the near sideline, and it is complete. Louisville has a first down, and they are in Irish territory on the 41-yard line. Yes, yeah, they're, they're, they're playing the corners like off, off press, so it's almost like they're just giving them the five-yard cushion. But it was third and five. Come on. <laughs> and a handoff here to Hawkins, and he is brought down after a gain of five. Second and five coming up for Louisville. Uh, they, they're marching along now. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... I, I just concerned that what, what has been happening so far is that the defense stopped imposing their will and they're now just kind of reacting. And another reaction here after yet another about five, six yard game, first down Louisville, they are on the 30 yard line now. Whose name have we not called yet today? Is that uh, Julian Aquara? What the fuck? Yeah, um, I, I would love to see him kill somebody. Yeah, right. And another five yard rush, this time by Hall, second and five for Louisville. So after, th tempo. after that third down conversion, the Irish have definitely, like you said, Shane, been on their heels and just reacting. Yeah. I mean, they're not trying to put them under on their schedule. There well, thank go. thankfully passed through it to the ground. Yeah. And you guys are celebrating. Why? <laughs> because it wasn't a first down. Third and five. <laughs> yes. It didn't happen. Good job, bro. It didn't happen. Oh, are we going to have offsides or are we going to have uh, a false yeah. start here? Uh, yet shot. another false start, so it will be third and ten upcoming for Louisville. And ESPN with that camera bullshit. They're like, penalty, look at Sean Crawford. Go look at Sean Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great because he was nowhere close to that action. Yeah, right? What the hell? Five wide, Drake. Oh, God. Pass, back to pass, and this is complete and to... Adam? It almost looked like two different receivers, but Atwell steals it, and it's fourth and three. Louisville will have to kick. This will be a 33-yard uh, attempt. I can't see where the damn ball is. Kick is up, and it is good. So Louisville brings it to within seven with 6.03 left here to go to the third. Notre Dame still on top, 20 to 13. Reina, what do you think? <laughs> we have cat power. Yes, she's purring out of satisfaction. And we got a touch back here for the first time all game long as Armstrong just decides to take a D in the end zone. So with 6.03 left, Irish will start on their 25-yard line. Book will come out with a 
Three wide on the tight end, single back. Holy, push the ball vertically, damn it. Hand off to Armstrong and almost stopped in the backfield and stuffed for no gain. Yeah, did anyone? I mean, he ran right at the defender, right? <laughs> right at a couple of defenders. Like, Damn. ran around them, came right back around. And then said, hey, are you it? Are you it? Book now back to pass, taking his time. Deep. Steps up, and that Damn. looked like a fumble, but I guess we're going tuck roll here. I mean, what the actual fuck? <laughs> um, this now concerning. Another concerning yeah. set. Notre Dame three for seven on third down. Yeah. Not Book. Great. Back to pass. Throws it downfield it. to and nobody. To the sideline. And all of a sudden, Louisville gets Notre Dame in a three and out. They will have to punt. And it's Ze a bad field position. Zero yards gained on that drive. Radlett back to punt. And this goes all the way back to the 30. Nice little kick there. Coverage is there. And, and after an 11-yard return... Louisville will take over at their 40. I should have paid better attention. Four-yard line. All right, better. So as long as they kept them inside the 50, I was like, ah, oh, come on. First and 10 for Louisville. Right up the gut goes Hawkins. Great daylight. Come on. 19-yard gain. First and 10 there. Louisville in Irish territory of the Irish 37-yard line. And they See, get... see that uh, Buck is not a question, but Mike is uh, kind of an issue. Maybe I should have Drew White in this game. Maybe that's the thing. And again, oh my gosh, 21 yards up the gut. Um, not good when the same play burns your ass twice. Nope. I mean, in a row. <laughs> oh, Musa Koromora on tech. But another handoff here, this time off tackle, and this time the Irish are there. So apparently you can go up the gut, but you can't go side to side. North, south, not east, west. Yeah, but that's kind of the thing, right? North-South is how you score. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. So. so back in the pistol, this is a read option. Pass pulls it down, and he is towards the He's first down. Eight, like, and he almost had an eight-yard gain. 30 inches coming up here for Louisville. They are on the Irish, uh, I'm going to call it basically the six-yard line. They're right there. And again, pistol again, read option. This time pass. Runs around Gilman, and that is a touchdown. Touch. With the PAT, Louisville can, Louisville can tie this one. It's about to get uh, stressful as shit. I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking comfort in that. Did everybody miss the sim? Did y'all <laughs> miss this bullshit? <laughs> Isn't it great, guys? <laughs> the extra point is up and good. And with 439 left to go in the third quarter, Notre Dame 20, Louisville 20, internet on fire. Yeah, so um, everyone drink. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jafar will take this one out of the end zone across the 20 to the 25 to the 30. A decent return there. He's apparently still up, and as he was uh, getting up, his knee hit the ground. Okay. <laughs> yeah, at this point, it just feels like the offense has been pretty much the definition of anemic. I mean, they 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 did what they could do, what, what Louisville allowed, and now they're just... No adjustments in the second half. Well, here we go. Play action, and again, throwing it away. Look, look I'm all for taking care of the ball here. Mm -hmm. That uh, now 17 for 26 on the night, and about five of those are throwing to a sideline. That's what I was going to say. It's like the fifth time he throws to a sideline. When, and he's got a receiver in the area. I mean, at least try to get it to the guy. Absolutely. Well, Book will stay in the shotgun three wide, and this handoff goes to Armstrong, who takes it up the middle for four yards. Third and six upcoming. The Irish cannot afford another three and out. Now, I'm getting all fidgety now. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like, you know, it's it just feels like they're running out of time to put their foot down on Louisville. Well, book back to pass, and Wright gets it well short of the sticks. Fourth and two after the four-yard reception. Come on, dude. A three, four-yard out on a, a third and six. Dude, the vertical field. Well, Louisville coming for this punt. Let's see what happens here. Oh, nope. They faked it, and they're going back into coverage. But a nice punt all the way back inside the 20 there. There you go. Your men on him. Got him. Well, so the Irish effectively flip the field as Louisville will start on their own 28 with 3.51 left to go and the score tied. It took them essentially two drives on offense and one for Louisville for them to finally flip the field. But, I mean, this is the opportunity now to impose your will on defense. <laughs> Irish Elvis, I'm glad this game is being played on Labor Day because I'm having contractions. <laughs> <laughs> so second uh, and seven after whatever happened on the first play. 
And Shane Simon remembered that he needs to stop the run up the gut. Third and five upcoming. Only a two-yard gain there. So the Irish could turn it around here if they could get Louisville off the field with a three and out. Okay. This is their this is a shot right here. Pass, Good back pace. to pass. He pulls it down. Nobody yep. home. And that will be a first down across the 45. 13 yard gain. I love the sim, you guys. Yay! Let me go check the UCF score real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so a handoff here to Hawkins, and he has a three yard gain, second and seven upcoming. 308 left here to go in the third quarter. Okay. If this were an option team, we'd be on schedule, but we're not, so we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Approaching midfield is Louisville and another false start, so they will come on back. Hey, now we're on schedule. Let's think about that that drive back in the red zone in the first half where they continuously false started. Yep. They could be in the lead right now. Yeah, this, that's the thing. They could be leading. Were oh, it man. not for them, um, them shooting themselves in the foot because of how flat the offense has been and basically how reactionary the defense has been playing. Well, and uh, Pfeiffer gets a little uh, slant for seven yards, third and four coming up. And apparently BYU, had, uh, no, Utah had a pick six on BYU. Say what? Shit's getting spicy in the Holy War. Ooh. Well, delayed okay. handoff here, and the Irish do a great there job. A one-yard loss. All right. And now, a decent return or just a bad punt, and, and this whole thing changes. M the opportunity is there. MTA on the stop there up the gut. First time we've Welcome called his back. name all day long. Man, I, I'm, I can't wait to watch him play this year. After that broken foot, I mean, this is going to be amazing. So the punt is away, and Fink's going to let this one go, and another touchback. So the Irish will take over on their own 20-yard line. 224 left here to go in the third. Score tied 2020. Now yeah, I know I why just... these games take commercial breaks. You can at least take a breath. <laughs> yeah, right? It's hard to inhale between plays. Look, back to pass over the middle to right. Nobody home. Did he just punch him in the face? He, it looked like... <laughs> he, just, he just Superman punched him. <sighs> First down for right after the right hook to somebody's dome. <laughs> I really need that to happen at some point this season. Just an uh, offensive player catch the ball and throw a fist. That was violent. Oh, man, that was nearly jumped. Dangerous, yeah. dangerous pass. Look past to the flat there. I mean, was it worth it for zero fucking yards? I no, mean, not worth it. When you when you see somebody draped over your guy like that, do not throw that pass. No. Book throws it over the middle and another dangerous throw. He's, he's, this is the thing. Is they're forcing the short intermediate game before the receiver has broken coverage. I mean, they're they're not he's not he's not being patient. And when he is, he's just holding the ball. Well, third down for Notre Dame. They are three and nine on the night. Four, five wide drink. Book throws okay. it deep. Completes Claypool across the 40. Ooh. 35 to 30. Hijo oh. De Hijo de <laughs> An absolutely beautiful play. That is well worth. That's right. For us to stand and salute. And we still have five wide, by the way. Oh, God damn it. Go. Book back to pass. Right. Gets Got the out it. and rolls forward for a 12 yard gain. Another it. Irish first down. They are in the red zone now. Click, 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 click. It's almost, we've been begging for the vertical stretch. It happens. The crowd is out. Five wide again. It works. Book back to pass. Throws it over the middle. Complete in. to, that looks like a uh, Fink, but we got a flag on the play. We got a hold? Clipping. Even worse, we have clipping on Notre Dame. So it will be first and, well, apparently that happened downfield, so first and 12. Braden Lindsay, bro. 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 That is not how you get playing time, my friend. I like Shane Simon's pout face on the sideline there. <laughs> Clipping. <laughs> first and 12 for the Irish on the 20. Read option. Book pulls it down across the 15 to the 10. Kent still on his feet. Second and one. Over hey, 150 yards on the ground for the Irish now. Let's make it 200 even. Second and one here for the Irish. They are on the eight yard line. Book. Speed yeah, option. It. Never fucking works. Stop calling it's it. The shit. I'm gonna burn that goddamn play. You Third and it five. It's like, it's like on 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 any down and one. What the fuck are you doing in the shotgun? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Third and five. The crowd hyped up on Papa John's and shitty booze is now lit up. Book throws across the middle and is dropped by Fink. He was wide open. 
wide open was Fink, and uh, now yeah. Notre Dame is forced to kick the chip shot field goal. Uh, Door back. For, oh my gosh! Now we have a false start. Oh, we're 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 Louisvilleing right now. Are we Louisvilleing right now? <laughs> you know this game is NCAA 14, and we all know how 2014 went. Oh, the no, game's yeah. just keeping us honest. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Fair. <laughs> so this will now be a 33-yard attempt instead of the easy chip shot, but the kick is up right down the middle, and it is good. The pace of this game does not allow us to afford a three-point final. I, I'm glad the Leprechaun is doing a We're Not Worthy praise because I am about shitting myself that we're not beating fucking Louisville by more than three right now. Hey, at least he's honest because we're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and for the first time, really, the uh, return coverage uh, was not great there. I mean, 30. I mean, it, the whole point is just keep things in front of you. We can't let shit get out of control. Once, If, if, if they allow a big pass in this drive, it's trouble. Pass, back to pass. And yeah. it is complete to Pete for an eight-yard gain, second and two, 40 seconds left to go. Okay. South Dakota leads Minnesota 21 to 20. Woo! Welcome yeah, back, college football. I love it. Row that boat. <laughs> and, uh, Shane Simon needs to not be playing because he I'm just sorry. got turned around by pass on that run. First down, Louisville. Like, I understand that he's in the two deep there, but it's it's evident why he's not starting <laughs> on, the, on the death chart. It's. Mm. Passing the pistol, hands off to Hawkins, who just absolutely God. shucks an Irish defender. Maybe we get an unnecessary roughness on that flag. There's got to be something. Like oh, that. it's a face mask on the defense. So Notre Dame trying their best to hand this game away. Louisville will now be on their own. Uh, the Irish 34 yard line with 18 seconds left here to go in the third. I'm willing to argue that that counts as a technically a big fucking play to give up. On this <laughs> Do not give them 15 yards in your territory. <laughs> Well, hold on to your butts, everybody. Play action pass going towards the end zone. Oh. Wide open touchdown, Des Fitzpatrick. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ooh. Irish no trail. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. All well, right, guys. Everyone, come on. Honor system here. Drink. <laughs> oh, my dear God. I will be comatose on Tuesday if this is how Son this game goes. of a bitch. <laughs> so with the extra point, with five seconds left to go in the third... Louisville 27, Notre Dame 23, my liver negative five. Yeah, I mean, yo, the comment is right now. The the, the sim is like denying that Julian Aquara exists. What the French? <laughs> and Armstrong takes it out, and he will only get to the 25. First and 10 with one second left to go, and uh, now we're going to get a highlight reel of Louisville coming back in this one, I think. Oh, no, wait, wait yeah. here's some Notre Dame stuff. I mean, it's basically a highlight reel of, hey, everyone notice how close this shit is? What the fuck? Everybody's tuning in right now. Diplomas are being burned. Papa John's is being ordered at like insane rates. People are just coping with the fact that they're winning. I'm just missing Popeye sandwiches. Dude, don't even. <laughs> my heart is, there's a hole in my heart right now. <laughs> I'm still grieving. <laughs> may or may not be a Friday roundup topic. <laughs> Three wide. Shotgun. Book. Back to pass. Screen getting set up. Lovell was coming on a blitz, but um, the blocks were just whiffed on. Only four yards, second and six coming up. And that is the end of the third quarter, and Notre Dame going into the fourth will have to come back again. So hold on, let me check my notes. A team that was dog shit last year. Yeah, yeah. A team that Vegas has winning, quote unquote, over or under four and a half games. Yay. Read option. Book pulls it down across 30, 35, to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. Oh, there's do not be a hold. Do there's a flag a on the flag. Hold. Are you Personal kidding foul. me? Clipping. Personal foul. Clipping even better Clipping? on the offense. So okay, it will now be second. It was Lindsay again? I'm no, it was Fink. Oh. It was Fink on receivers. this one. What the fuck, guys? So second and nine, the leprechaun is beside himself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so instead of being in Louisville territory... Uh, the Irish will now be on their own 27-yard line. Hand off here to uh, instead Jones, it looked like. Yes, seven-yard gain. Yeah. So third and two upcoming. <laughs> Purple Brian Kelly that gift. Uh, no, not even. I mean, at this point, he would just be arms crossed with his, fr his frowny face. Like, oh, we, we got that emoji, but Book pulls it down. He is determined. First down, got Irish. Got him. All right. 
Hey, that, that's why you subbed to the channel, folks, to get the <laughs> lovely emojis. Yeah, hit them emojis, man. Just go crazy. All right, Jones pulls this one down to the 40, tries to turn the corner for the 45, but he gets four yards. Second and six upcoming. Irish on their own 42-yard line. They should load the box. Test them over the top. They're still spread out at Louisville's defenses. They're going to let the Irish run. Book has all day. They only rush three, and he throws it away. Away again? He had a no. Okay. His man was wide open, right? I I, I don't even have words. I, uh, I cannot explain. I mean, I know, I know Miles Boykin and oh, fucking. And a Kevin false Austin, start. They're all gone. A false start. Look, Ooh, okay, boy. so what we're all watching is that, you know, this whole. 2011 USF game shit that's going on right now. Uh, we're, we're getting it out of our system. That's why we do the sim. <laughs> <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. I will, goddammit. Third and 11, book back to pass, and we're going to set up a screen. And everybody is all over it. Only three yards, fourth and eight, and down. With less than seven eight. minutes to go, the Irish will punt. They gained all of, what, 12 yards on this drive? One of these days, we're going to fire Sim BK. It's going to happen. Yo, a hell of a kick, though. <laughs> that was some pump porn right there. Yo, the, the coverage. Even with an 11 yard return there, the field is flipped, and Louisville will start on their own 27 yard line. All right. So, defense needs to make a stand. Julian Aquara needs to, I don't know, get in the game. <laughs> First and ten, and a sack here. There you go, Dalen. What, Shane Simon? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Now I know this sim is on drugs. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming meth. <laughs> I'm gonna feel really bad if like Shane Simon's family is listening to this. Like, hey what guys, the fuck, guys? He's having Shane a great Simon. time. <laughs> but look at you've been watching the sim, right? This is nuts. <laughs> Oh, second and 17, pass back to pass. He's getting a little bit of pressure, throws it over the middle, and it is complete for a first down across the 40. Damn it. Oh, man. How do you take a sack and then give up a first down the next play? So across, uh, now on their 42 is Louisville. They come out with three wide in the shotgun. 617 left to go. Hand off here and Get stop him. behind Get the him. line. I'm talking about Houston Griffith. Yes, Houston Griffith on the play. Got the red shirt. Oh shit. Well, he I don't know if he really tackled him so much as just got in the way. But hey, it yeah, worked. It's kind of like, oh shit, I'm sorry. Are you oh, was that you? <laughs> that is a tackle for loss. Five right. wide. God damn it. <laughs> and a pass by pass, and that is complete. An eleven yard sit down route, third and one coming up. Yeah, they're they're doing these curls, and this is what I'm talking about. The defense knows this shit is in place, and yet they're waiting for him to catch it to react. Ah. And a no huddle on third and one, five wide. Pass. Get him, get him, get him. And of course, there's very soft coverage. There was nobody in the flats at all. That's what I'm saying. They're playing off. They're playing off the wide receivers and giving them that five yard cushion. And I don't understand if the intent is to keep things in front of them because they're not stopping them from scoring. And another five wide. And again, I mean, just going tunnel screen right here and bouncing oh, off everybody. On. But Gilman stuffs them for no gain. That was. That Gilman was just pushed weird. him back. And I guess forward progress is nullified at that point. So. We're going to go with it. Can use every break we can get. Second and 10 with 525 left to go. Notre Dame trailing by four. Quarterback oh, draw. Oh, oh. And an absolute stick there. I couldn't see whose number that was. That was Tariq Bracey. Tariq Bracey. Third and nine. Notre Dame desperately needs to be off the field. Still five wide. Still drinking. Oh, God. Under center. Pass back to pass. And, well, Notre and Dame was on the um, sticks, but they let him pass. I'm sorry. Jalen Elliott, you ran around your boy. I mean, come on. First and 10 on the Irish 29-yard line. Staying five wide. It's working so far. Why not? Well, maybe. Well, Houston Griffith getting a tackle on the pass to no one. It looked like he was passing it to Houston Griffith. Am I, is that just me? <laughs> his feet, maybe. Yeah, yeah, his ankles. God damn it. Four wide here. Hand off at the middle. Bilal wow. gets shucked. Seven yard gain for Hawkins. Third and three, four, 55 left to go. It's relatively big stop here. They're up four. They can force them to get that three point uh, play and then, you know, keep them within a touchdown. Otherwise, shit's going to get up. Pass back to pass. Oh, and a curl wait. for a first down. Eight yard gain. You know it's bad when the receiver can 
catch the comeback route and come back past the first down and still get the shit. Pass again, back to pass. He's got four wide, pulls it down, decides to go across the 10. Now towards the five, and he is at second and one after the nine yard gain. 430 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Yo, this is bad pacing. The Irish are running out of time. Yeah, and uh, Louisville's on the four yard line. Uh, pass lines up in the pistol, has three wide down to the near sideline, and a stuff behind the line. Okay. Kareem. This is a key, this is a crucial down. Okay, a seven point game versus an 11 point game are two very different animals. Ask us during, you know, 2016 and playing Clemson. <laughs> <laughs> Kareen and Heinish there on the stop behind the line. Third and four, five wide once again. They're going back to the well. Pass, QB draw. He is stuffed. Oh, he got stuck by Griffith. Please be an injury. Ooh. I'm just kidding. Sorry. I don't mean that. <laughs> Yo, he, he, he got close line. <laughs> I got the vapors after Yo, that one. Oh, Damn. He was down for a second. He's down because he's pissed. Fourth hey. and three, and Louisville is going for it. They are going Yo. to try to get the upset Locker. right here. Four wide, single back formation, shotgun, pass, back to pass. Wide hey. open receiver in the end zone, touchdown Louisville. That might be game. I mean, there was nobody on the back. Did, nobody. I, I need to check and make sure the rosters didn't accidentally put BVG on the Irish uh, side. <laughs> like, uh, This oof. is ugly, guys, but... You know, welcome back to the sim. We're all having a great fucking day. Yeah, are, are, aren't we all enjoying this shit? Yes, sir. So with <laughs> Shane uncorks the Hennessy. <laughs> yep. 346 left to go. And this is brought out of the end zone across to the 30-yard line goes Armstrong. So first and 10, the Irish need to get their shit together. And in a fucking hurry. They got three, three minutes, 42 to go. They have not pushed the field. <laughs> At all. This is the time. You got to go deep. You got to push has it. Been you got to hurry up. One pass downfield. I'm saying. Three wide for the Irish. And sure, just take your time. Let's snap oh, yeah, this no, late. No and a handoff counter oh, and oh, stop good. behind the line as Armstrong dropped for a three yard loss. Third, a second and 13 coming up. So much was wrong with how that play was just run. First and foremost, a counter. Second of all, the defender bounced off you, and then you just like, oh, I'm going to fall down. Five wide. Uh, I'm already drinking. Second and 13. Book back to pass. Throws it over the middle to Louisville defenders. The ref. The ref ducked. Should have caught that pass. Well, thankfully, nobody caught that. It falls harmlessly to the ground. Third and 13. Yeah. Yeah. You heard that right. Third and 13. Five wide once again for the Irish. Book back to pass. Throws it. Oh, that went right into the Yo. bread basket of Etheridge there for Louisville. And it's fourth down, you guys. And the and Irish punting. are punting with 321 left to go. <laughs> Already the calls for Jerkovic are coming out. Uh, that and didn't yeah. take long. Yep. <laughs> well, this punt goes down to the 30 and a nine-yard return by Atwell. I don't want to see this game track, ESPN. No, no, because... Um, all they're showing are tackles that happened way too late. I mean, at this point, the defense has been not responsive. They've not been uh, anticipating. They're not, they haven't been trying to impose their will. They haven't been trying to set their own agenda. Instead, they've been reacting. And because of the fact that the offense has been utterly anemic, they've been on the field way too fucking much this game. And of this, course, they're probably against. This is how four and eight seasons start. Pretty much. <laughs> Handoff here. Of course, uh, Louisville going to try to bleed as much clock as possible with just over three minutes left to go. And Hawkins apparently broke his hand on that run. Okay. Second, second and seven with 240 left to go. Notre Dame still has all three of their timeouts. Second and seven. Gotta now going to 230 left to go as we are accelerating the clock. And Hall with five yard gain, third and two. Notre Dame still holding on to all their timeouts. Uh, but Louisville doing a favor with a no huddle. Okay. Ready? Well, under center with a single back is pass. No, no. This is what they do. They no huddle and then they run the clock out. So we're all right. So um, let's fan for kids. twenty seconds. <laughs> you know how the kids doing? You know how's the wife? Uh, how's the actual life? Well, the, the 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 wife actually came by and was very mad how, how loud I was. But I got something for this game. Yeah, you see how we're just going to talk through this without concern? This is how this goes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And a false start. <laughs> Perfect timing for this. 
Everybody drink because fuck it. Third and seven coming up, thank God. Uh, so Hawkins will be out for the remainder of the game. We got 153 left here to go. Third and seven. Might want to snap this, son. Um, yeah. Hand off to Hall, and he Nobody is going there. to... Oh, that was so close to a first down. If I'm Louisville, I'm going for this. They're, yeah, they're punting. Oh. Fourth and one. That's barely one. They the are clock punting. Stopped. The clock is yeah, stopped. Yeah, Notre Dame took a timeout. 148 left to go. The punt is away. Let's see if this is another touchback. This better... This is it, guys. I mean, it's, it's now or nothing. And reminder, Notre Dame is trailing by 11. So we are talking touchdown, two-point conversion, onside, plus field goal with talking, 141 left to go. We're talking heroin. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> I feel like I should be on it at this point. Well, let's do a little two-out well, flat, Wright which apparently broken. worked for a little short flat for a 16-yard game. Brock Wright wants to win this one. And your boy got out of bounds. 136 left to go in this game. First and 10 Irish as they are on the, uh, come on, Sim, give me something on the 36 yard line. Yo, that's a veteran move by, uh, you know, by first year starter there. Good shit. So far wide, book back in the shotgun, single back. All right, get it deep. Back to Take pass. Oh, well, at least he threw it more than 10 yards, but incomplete. Dang. So you saw how his receiver was just shrieking like 10 yards ahead of where the ball, the ball fell. It's, it just feels like right now, Book has not demonstrated enough chemistry with his outside wide receiver. Hey, where are all these deep routes coming from? We were having fun earlier. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh and it is almost picked off by yeast. Oh, by yeast. <laughs> Everybody feel awkward about yeast getting his name called on here. With 126 left to go, third and 10. We're getting close to all or nothing. Let's run a screen. A screen that gets dropped for a four yard loss. No timeout being now. used by the Irish. Fourth and 14 upcoming. Is it time to talk about Chip Long fucking this shit up right now? <laughs> <laughs> because it kind of feels like he's fucking this shit up right now. How do you call the screen while down by 11? No timeouts being used. Oh One fifteen God, left they're in the going game. for it. Five wide, fourth and 14. And the pass falls harmlessly incomplete. And Notre Dame is going to end up losing the Yo, first sim of the season. He just threw that to five yards behind the receiver. I, 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 I don't even know. I, yeah, I got nothing. One oh nine left to go in this bullshit. I got nothing but a, a busy liver. Right On now. Hall uh, runs for twelve yards. Apparently, uh, just all kinds of white flag waving going on right now. It's just you know I, I understand though. they're just they're they're so intimidated by Papa John's presence. You know. I just, Oh, oh, okay. This is uh, well, Hall gets another first down. Yeah, yeah. Just let him score. All timeouts are now used by the Irish. Yeah, it's over, guys. We we can have kneels or we can have insult to injury. We will just have kneel downs. That will no. do it for the game. No, Father Soren's Ramblers. No, this, this is, is not canceled. This is our bit. This is it. We all tough this out together. You suffer, we suffer, and we all get shit faced. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, some stats coming in here from the peanut gallery. As Irish Elvis will remind you that since the first quarter, Louisville has outscored Notre Dame 34 to 13. And for some reason, Louisville decided to run it, as I'm not even paying attention to it anymore. It's like 10 seconds left, guys. It's a wrap, G. Oh, and that's it. 34 so. to 23, your final, as this nice. season's off to a shitty start. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> Go Slot home, you. Sim. You're drunk. <laughs> I shotgun to LaCroix. Kick the PAT. Oh. Weather conditions are too good when, in regards of going for two. Uh, do not mention the court. <laughs> I see uh, Indy Popeye has what a horrible name. I, I'm assuming a game is is what we're going for because that was a horrible game. Well, I was going to say Indy Popeye is an awesome name, especially uh, Sandwich. <laughs> Miss you. Come back to my life. But the they still have spicy chicken. It makes me think, baby, come back. I still got to write a post after this. Yeah, buddy. Oh, boy. So how do we all feel? Um, I would say pretty shitty. <laughs> Just kind of going off on a limb there. Oh, um, yeast is the bad name. Okay. Yeast. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I, I think we can all agree that when Monday actually rolls around, I'll probably be in the middle of a you know shitstorm, literally. 
Um, but, um, you know, when Monday does roll around, we can expect that the actual offense will be pushing the, off- the, the, the ball downfield more. We likely won't see this anemic bullshit, you know, throwing behind receivers, you know, missing on screens and throwing those on fucking third and 19 or whatever. But um, at least we got this out of our system. Like, maybe we can get a little silver lining. What do you think? You know, sacrifices do need to be made. Mm-hmm. I still have a cat pick to be made. Ah, yes. Teaser for later on on Monday. Because I got time, uh, which I'm glad because I'm running behind on everything else. But there we go. There is your sim. There is our preview. And if the most accurate preview method in all of college sports is correct, we are going to have a very interesting podcast come Monday night because for Notre Dame night games, we're going to do our level best to come on post game as soon as we're done. Uh, so make sure you have the channel tuned to here Monday night, twitch.tv slash for Lowell Suns. Put us on your calendar. That means Monday, uh, Tuesday morning you will have the podcast if that is your preferred medium. Uh, but yeah, Shane, that um, your, your trip to Chicago was good. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm kind of glad I, I front-loaded my, my happiness because it seems like I'm about to drown in sadness. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully it's just sadness and not actual crazy hurricane type nah. stuff, so... Well, that that is a Floridian right there. That is a Floridian saying Look, that. <laughs> I was I was four years old four, when whatever. Hurricane Andrew hit. We lived on the third floor of an apartment, and I swear to God, at four in the morning, when it was in our city in Coral Gables, we all looked out the fucking window and watched. <laughs> okay, that's how that's how gangster we do shit here. Until shit like actually comes at us, you know, Category Five or a fucking tornado, eh? We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that is uh, that is the sim. Again, folks, make sure you join us Monday night. Keep the channel tuned to Her Loyal Sons, and uh, we will always be back here. And, oh, oh my goodness, losing Look, stuff. I, oh, I hope I we're still like, live on the stream because my computer just shat itself. I feel like, yeah, okay, I feel like, first and foremost, welcome to our brand. We are a technical mess. Um <laughs> But generally speaking, I have to say before you all... because I turned the Xbox off. What the hell? Before you all log off in a panic or what have you, I just want to say thank you all for suffering with us because um, y'all are the best part about doing this, to be honest. Absolutely. That, that, that's why we do it. Yeah, thank you for everybody that joined us. This was a hell of a lot of fun. I hope we're still live. I hope I we're still recording. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I still hear you, so that means something's going on. Uh, but my entire main screen is frozen. All right. Uh, so with that, uh, I mean, we had the sim in, so we're going to go ahead and sign off, folks. So, yes, ma'am. So, yeah. Um, I appreciate everybody that joined us live on Twitch TV dot, uh, slash Her Little Sons. Of course, you can also keep the party going in Discord. That is our live chat channel, HerLittleSons.com slash Discord. Um, there was an alert. Oh, a bad timing on the music. But anyways, come subscribe to the podcast. Please leave us reviews. You can find us wherever podcasts are fine. But until next time, y'all, go Irish, beat Cardinals. Please don't do what happened here. Have a good one.